Dollar foot long, all September long, like the turkey breast, meatball, marinara, and even the kick and buffalo chicken. With tons of five dollar foot longs, it's the most celebrated value in the land. Hurry in, Subway, eat fresh. WXYT FM and WXYT HD1 Detroit. A CBS radio station. Sports headlines all day, every day. This is 97.1 The Ticket. Brought to you by Hollywood Casino. Tigers 12 to 5 winners at home over the White Sox, reducing their magic number to three. Of note, Max Scherzer becomes the Vigs' first 20 game winner. He goes six innings, allows three runs, improves to 20 and three. Jim Leland. Well, I'm thrilled for him. I mean, it's great. He's had that huge, huge year, and, you know, to finally get to 20, I'm really happy for him, and the guy's really. Obviously picked him up tonight with a lot of support, so it was just a good evening. You know, a tough evening for the guys to play because of the conditions, but we got through it. Uh, Umpires did a great job of keeping the game going, and uh, like I said, we got Max into a situation where he could relax a little bit. 708 first pitch tonight. Rick Porcello against Chris Sale. Tigers and White Sox from Comerica Park right here on 97-1. The ticket. Number 15, Michigan on the road against UConn at a place called Rentschler Field tonight. 8 p.m. and AM 950 WWJ. 3.30 p.m. Michigan State trying to stop a two-game losing skid against the Fighting Irish. Down in South Bend against number 22, Notre Dame. Irish have won nine straight at home. Lions getting good news, entering their game tomorrow at Washington. Running back Reggie Bush and defensive tackle Nick Fairley, both listed as probable. Kickoff at 1 p.m. from our nation's capital right here. A 97-1, the ticket. At the 1-800-CALL-SAM studios, I'm Jeff Lesson. A 97-1, the ticket. Is a paid program. Views expressed on this program are not necessarily those of CBS Radio, its sponsors, or affiliates. Good morning. Welcome to the Hardcore Mortgage Real Estate Business Show. Brought to you by Capital Mortgage Funding at one 800 low rate the best mortgage banker. I'm your host, Harvey Fried. Alongside of me, we've got a full panel this morning. Of course, Alex Nafusi. Hi, buddy. Harry Glanz. Angry Harry Glanz could come oh, out no, today. No, we got a lot to talk Harry's about. He could angry. come out today. No, he's not. Brought yeah. in our real estate agent no. slash attorney friend, Lee Mora, from Remax Showcase in downtown Birmingham. Good morning, Lee. Well, he got Lee. the call back. Yeah, that is a call back. Yeah, he's Lee's in the He's on a second time in the last two months. Yep, I behaved myself last time, and here I am again. Well, you did really well. That's the point. You articulated professionally. Efficiently. Uh, proficiently. September 21st, gentlemen, yes, 2013. This is a, actually officially the last day of summer or slash the first day of fall. It's one of those. It, Do we really have a spring or summer? Uh, yeah, I enjoy totally, it. Totally, I'm angry today, brother. Uh-oh. Angry Why? today. What you, what, you, what, you, you're, what Harry Glenn's possibly angry about? I'm, I'm going to tell you why I'm possibly angry. You, we want to get into you, it. Yes, I do. What do you, Can what we you start into something about? first? Can we you go into yeah, some good stuff? Do, man. Let's uh, go. We are taking angry. everyone's calls this morning, so if you want to join our show, 248-539-9797, broadcasting live here in the 97.1 studios. And again, we're open all day at Capital Mortgage. If you actually want to talk to those guys there today about getting a mortgage, getting your approval letter in hand, we're going to talk all about that. And of course, thanks to uh, some increase in home values here in Southeast Michigan across the United States, now 2.5 million mortgage borrowers are no longer underwater. So that, that really falls into a lot of our conversation this morning. Having more equity in the house gives you an opportunity to potentially refinance, consolidate debt. We're going to talk about that. The CoreLogic study actually showed that 14.5% of the mortgage borrowers remain underwater, but that's down about 12% here in the last 12 months. On all fronts in the last 12 months, whether you refied your home or you purchased a new home, it's been the busiest it's been in years. And that's why I'm so angry. Okay, we're going to talk yeah, about I'm so busy. angry that people should be happy out there. They should be happy. They're closing loans. Realtors, Lee Moroff, your group, doing more business than they've done since 2004, 2005. Absolutely. And, and, and they're angry. Angry? And I'm, I'm as happy as I've been in the last two years. We're, we're going to go over that. I'm going to give you an example. Refinance, okay, people are, you know, people have refinanced more in the last 12 months than they have since, I don't know, 2003. Okay, and those people are angry. And let me tell you what they're angry about on the refinance front. For about, oh, a few days, maybe two, three, maybe a blip on the radar screen, rates were at three and five eighths on a 30 year fix, and now they're four and a half. Okay, historically low levels, I might add. He's Mid 60s quoting, levels. Just throwing a, okay, just an example. That's right. So because people couldn't get three and five eighths on a 30 year fix, which was free money, now it's just semi free money, people are angry. Realtors are closing more loans than they ever had before. And yesterday we have a situation where a closing is supposed to take place at noon. Okay. Uh, I knew there was a story behind yeah, this. Yeah, closing's supposed to take place at noon, 
But guess what? It happened at 2 o'clock, and you would have thought it was the end of the world. End of the world. I don't understand it. I just don't understand that do you, there's a stat out there in the last 12 months on a percentage of applications that we have taken, capital mortgage funding, the best mortgage banker, and this is just another illustration, give me a percentage from all the applications we took in the last 12 months. Give me a percentage that closed. Here, I'm cheating. It was 90, 97%. 97%. percent That's huge. Nobody. There is nobody that can touch that. I saw the numbers. They're nobody. there. Nobody. So when yeah. I get a phone call that something was supposed to happen at 12 and it happened at 2, I mean, let, let's face it. This isn't life or death situations. It's not brain surgery. This is the mortgage business. There are lenders out there that are promising closings that never happen. Here, here, here. And like, we're functioning at a 97% rate. I'm doing the timeout sign. I don't want to hear it. I, no one can see, but I'm doing the timeout sign to Harry. Harry, I know you're all jacked up. And jacked I, 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 up I, I know. I'm sure there was a specific story that happened and, and someone called you and said you didn't get the money here at this point in time i couldn't eat lunch guys, by the way alex because of this was this your deal uh, of, my, course maybe. Oh, of course it's of, uh, of course it's of course guys the wire it's, got there at four o'clock so what i'm if so you, mad if, i if called the federal drink, reserve so personally yeah because we control I'm still the wires doing the time the outside. Reserve. 248 539 if you want to join the show, guys, I mean, it, when it gets this busy, and, and, and it is busy, it's busy as all hell. I mean, and all of a sudden, there's every realtor that was in the business back in like 03 and 04, and they, and they, they were flushed out. And all of a sudden, now they're, they're back in the business, and they're, they're, they're jumping back in. We have a closing at noon, and you it has to be the Guys, if I am bringing the money... I will bring the money when I damn well please. It's, it's black and white. If I'm bringing, if That's I'm right. bringing you, if I'm bringing you a quarter million dollars, I, you just you yeah. just say thank you. Whether, whether it's whether it's new or two o'clock, re- just over say here. thank you. How do you, you respond to this? How do you respond to this? You know, a couple hours is not a big deal. When I start to to get upset is when a couple hours becomes two weeks. Then it's like, okay, what's going We've on? We've never had it become two weeks. Right. Two hours. Uh, that, hey, I can go and get something to eat then because around noon, I'm hungry. What happens, Cinderella, when the clock strikes yeah. midnight well, yeah. and so we show up at two o'clock? What, what happens? It, was, was it, was, the wire didn't come through hard? Was that, was that the deal on yours or it no? It ended up working no, out pretty good. No, it wasn't. Good. It was just, it's a culmination of all these things happening. You know, and, and, wait, and, and by the way, it's never like some dude that, that makes like a quarter mil a year and he's putting down 25%. It's some jackwad that is putting well, down 3%. That's harsh. I wasn't going I'm, that crazy. Wait, wait, hold on. Wait, hold on. Time on. I, I'm a 97% partner. You're putting down 3%. I'm bringing 97% of the transaction. I'm bringing all, I'm bringing all the that money. That happens on quite okay? a, yeah, but, many oh, transactions. Time on, time on. Sure. So, so I'm bringing 97%. You, Mr. Borrower, my client that I'm representing, is bringing 3%. So I'm 97%. You're bringing 3%. And you, Jackass Realtor, you're bringing 0%. Yeah, right. you have the biggest problem Look, of this. Lee, you, you are not invested at all. You just want your check. Alex, you with, the all the appraisal, with all the appraisal issues, when I say, you know, property value issues, yeah. with all those things coming in, okay, with all the guideline changes, okay, with all the RESPA rules and regulations, right. with all the Fannie, Freddie, Harp, HUD, all the new rules and everything like that, to close loans from application to closing at a 97% rate. If there was a Hall of Fame, and maybe we should invent it, we, we, there's no question. you got to be in the Hall Dude, of Fame when you're doing stuff like that. Lee, there's a lot of moving parts here, right? There's a lot of moving parts in yeah. a mortgage. You're in closing a purchase. You know, yesterday, whatever the situation is, whether we're verifying taxes at the, at the last minute or checking a unit number, it could be anything. It could be anything. There's there are a, there so are, many steps that have to be taken now. before. There are. From, Thanks, Lee. From the time that you even have an accepted offer to the time that the yeah. transaction closes, there, there has to be, what, 100 steps? Oh, yeah. yeah. You should see the checklist appraisal, oh. Clear. Call the credit reports, uh, on and on and on and on and on. Putting the funds and, together, clear, and, clearing the uh, canceled checks, the earnest money deposits. There's so many steps involved in a mortgage nowadays, and that's what we talk about. You get the professionals involved. You can buy a house. It's still very easy to close on a house. And, yes, transactions usually take place between 30 and 40 days, I would say, on the average. And sometimes we see them close a little bit sooner if the transaction's all there. And we always talk about how this documentation is so important. 248-539-9797. Come and join the show. This is actually a great conversation if you want to get in, if you're Purchasing a house, we've got lots to share with you. We're going to talk about that also. And also, I want to recap, and we weren't here last week, but uh, the week before, I want to recap the realtor rally that we did. Alex, I don't know if you did that on last week's show. We had a realtor rally, Lee, on Orchard Lake Road in 14, about 14 mile of Champs, where we invited about 50 realtors there. We had a great turnout. I got to talk, and, you know, that's my favorite part. I got to speak with 
no, you about don't say. 50 realtors about what's going on in the market. <laughs> it was enlightening. We we established new relationships. We reacquainted with old relationships. I had a guy come up to me and say, you know, 20 years ago, I sent you guys loans. And it's just a lot of fun. It's kind of like going to a reunion. But uh, a lot of fun. A lot of great realtors out there. We're going to do it again. If anybody wants us to do one on the east side, we like to do one up in, uh, you know, in the Sterling Heights area out there. Go Hall Road, M59. Let's do one out there, and we'd like to also go down river. But uh, we do a great road show. You know, they say that uh, if you're going to win championships, you got to win on the road. Anybody can win at home. We like going on the road, meeting new people, reestablishing and reacquainting with our old relationships, and just had a lot of fun. So if you want us to come out in your area, just give us a call, 1-800-LOW-RATE, ask for Harvey and Alex, and we'll certainly book a, an event in your area. Lee, you want to jump in there with the purchase market? Again, we wanted to talk about, I, I said to you this morning that the millennials are, are not out there. The student loans been keeping some of the younger buyers away from buying those starter homes, which then sort of parlays that person who's in that starter home to purchase the next step up home. And you said, you know what, Harvey, not really, man. There's tons of buyers out there. And it's just at the end of the day, here we are sort of towards the end of 2013 in the last quarter. And there's just not any homes on the marketplace. So that's what it is. Everyone's fighting over the same good houses. Exactly. And, he, and here's the thing that buyers need to understand. If you're on the fence get off the fence now because i've got the numbers from august uh, of this year compared to august of last year listen to these value increases guys Talk macomb to county me. up 47.4 percent we always said macomb was hot oakland In county values or, or, or just me, median sale price wow oakland county wow. up 32 percent and wayne county ready for this 60 percent six awesome. zero if you're on the fence listen we're not at values that we were before the crash but you better get off the fence now because we're going to be back to those values within the next couple of years. Yeah, a lot of great opportunities out there. If you're a first-time buyer, if you actually had a short sale in the past, and you can get back into the marketplace, we'll show you how to do it. Just call our show, 248-539-9797. We always talk about mortgages and purchasing homes. Some good news out there in the mortgage world. Actually, last week, yeah, it just was it, was it a bleep out there. Prospective buyers who have been shying away or even those refinance clients out there. A great opportunity. Uh, rates maybe dropped an eighth or a quarter percent again, but the Federal Reserve had a surprise move on Wednesday. So definitely rates are staying where they're at now. Will they go up in the future? Yes. They are eventually, eventually going to go up. We'll talk a lot about yeah, that. Let's get more into that because he finally said something that made sense, but he was backtracking from two months prior. All right, we've got some open lines. 248-539-9797. We'll be back. <laughs> At Earhart BMW, it's the second annual certified pre-owned sales event with offers like 0.9% financing through BMW on most 2010 and 11 models, plus over 120 pre-owned vehicles to choose from. Visit Earhart BMW, Bloomfield Hills, Farmington Hills, EarhartBMW.com. What do you see? Walsh College grads see and hear business in everything. So when they hear, they think. The $25 billion golf industry, which requires accounting, marketing, and international trade, features a deep recurring stream of revenue. After all, golf balls get lost. Oh, no. A lot. Approximately 300 million times a year. Walsh grads see business in everything and impact great companies everywhere. Walsh College. See more at livebreathebusiness.org. What do you see? Walsh College grads see and hear business in everything. So when they hear... Pass the ham, please. They think... Honey Baked Ham of Michigan, led by a president with two Walsh degrees, is an excellent example of entrepreneurship and diversification, expanding its product line to turkey, beef, and pork. Walsh grads see business in everything and impact great companies everywhere. Walsh College. See more at livebreathebusiness.org. For over 50 years, there's been one place outdoor enthusiasts have trusted to get all the gear and advice they need. Cabela's. And we're celebrating with our legendary anniversary sale, where you can save 10% on Cabela's Alaskan Guide tents and 20% on all in-stock worn and super wench ATV UTV wenches. Plus, find a huge selection of firearms and ammo on sale now. Don't miss this chance to get everything you need for the great outdoors. Shop in stores or visit us at cabelas.com today. It's week three of the pro football season, and here's the Bovada.net feature game of the week. Detroit travels to our nation's capital to square off against Washington. Set as a slight two-point underdog with a total at 49, Washington looks to plug the hole on defense after giving up 33 and 38 in its first two games of the season. Bovada.net is your source for odds and props on all college and pro football games. Bovada.net. 
Raise your game. Hi, Harry Glanz for Capital Mortgage Funding. Rates are at historic lows, and they're not going down to zero. So what are you waiting for? Call 1-800-LOW-RATE and let our award-winning staff help you save money. If you're looking to purchase a new home, refinance your existing home, and you want to save money, call 1-800-LOW-RATE and take advantage of these historic low rates. That's Capital Mortgage Funding, 1-800-LOW-RATE, the best mortgage banker. Capital Mortgage Funding is a proud division of United Shore Financial Services, NMLS number 3038, Equal Housing Lender. What are you waiting for? For. Call 1 800 low rate. Two and a half men is about brotherly love five nights a week. Have a great day, bro. I hate you. I hate you too. Two and a half men is about fatherly love five nights a week. Alan, smack your kid for me. Should we risk more brain damage? Two and a half men is about all kinds of love five nights a week. I love you. And I love you. Now be an angel and get me another beer. Feel the manly love five nights a week. Why do I bother talking to you? Beats the hell out of me. Two and a half men. Watch weeknights at 7 30 on CW. It's September Soiree at the 5,000 square foot All Grow Hydro on Fort Street in Lincoln Park today. Today, a dozen vendors will be in house with smarts, sales, swag, and selection. Save on Pro Mix for thirty dollars a bale. One thousand watt light packages starting at just one ninety nine, and all special orders are thirty percent off today only at All Grow Hydro in Lincoln Park. Call 313-382-4200 for more information. Well, your heart looks good. Cholesterol levels are fine. So tell me again what's happening. Well, doctor, once a week I get totally lightheaded. Mm-hmm. The whole room starts to spin. Mm. My heart starts pounding like crazy. Uh-huh. And sometimes my toes go numb. Really? And where are you when this happens? The checkout line at Kohl's. I think we've discovered the cause. Don't miss Kohl's Spend the Weekend Savings Sale this Friday through Sunday. Great savings that make you go Kohl's. Kohl's. Expect great things. Hi, I'm Westland Mayor Bill Wild here to invite you to the final day of the Blues, Brews, and Barbecue Festival. Join us today for great blues music, award-winning barbecue, and handcrafted Michigan microbrews. For more information, visit cityofwestland.com. Brought to you by the Westland Downtown Development Authority. CBS Primetime is brought to you locally by Subway. Eat fresh. Monday, from executive producer Jerry Bruckheimer, comes a 15-episode thriller. Hold it right there! Hostages prepared to be taken. CBS Monday. Your home for the Lions, Tigers, Pistons, and Red Wings. 97.1, the ticket. All right, welcome back to the show. Till 10 o'clock, it's the Hardcore Mortgage Show, brought to you by Capital Mortgage Funding. You can call us at 1-800-LOW-RATE, the best mortgage banker. Or send us an email to mortgage.show at lowrateonline.com. We're taking all your calls. You also got Lee Moroff in here, real estate agent, downtown Birmingham at REMAX Showcase Homes. And again, it's always great to have real estate agents in there. We can talk about some strategy on purchasing a house in today's tough marketplace and getting that approval letter. Do we have calls, Harvey? We can go to some of those. We got line two. We got Mark out there in Livonia. Hey, Mark. Welcome to the show. Mark, what's up? Hey, good morning. How are you guys? Morning, Mark. How are you today? I'm fine. I'm fine. Well, I'd like to purchase a home. I was telling the screener. Um, went through a divorce in 06, uh, ended up filing bankruptcy about two years later, just, just couldn't, couldn't handle the bills. And with the child support, I just, I couldn't do it. So since basically 07, 08, uh, got things turned around, bought a new vehicle, um, paid that off, got a few credit cards. I have no balances on those. Uh, every, everything is paid off. I have no debt, period. But I've got about seventeen, eighteen thousand dollars saved up. Now, my question is, how bad is this bankruptcy going to mar my credit as far as purchasing a new home? It's actually not that bad, Mark. Was there a house in the bankruptcy? Uh, she got the house. So she got the house. So there was no foreclosure in the bankruptcy, correct? Correct. Yeah, it's it's a regular old deal, man. That was in two thousand eight. I mean, you know, you've been paying your bills on time since then. I think you're you're definitely you know in the right position to get back in the market for sure, dude. I and mean, that's a, that's a I mean. I, I think you're making. I, I think you feel like it, it, it's a it's a worse situation than it is. I mean, it's a 2008. Correct. It's a while ago. I mean, you're fine, man. It's a regular old deal. I mean, you got money saved up. I mean, it's a it's a regular old transaction. Okay, so should uh, my next question be? Should I go try and uh, get a pre approval to see how much I can qualify for? Mark, and let, me, then, let, me, let me do this. Dude. I've I've been looking. First of all, a pre approval. It's not where the paper it's printed on. It's a complete piece of junk. Um, what I actually, what I do for, for my clients is I do what's, what's called the mortgage commitment, which means like I, I've looked at your credit. I've, I've verified your income. I've verified the funds to close, which actually, I mean, it, it makes you as close to being a cash buyer as you could possibly be. 
Yeah. So you're ready to roll. Um, let me call you after the show, and uh, we'll get you all squared away, man. It's, it's an easy deal. No, pro- no problem at all. Sounds good. Awesome. Thanks for calling, Mark. Thanks. It's as Thanks, simple guys. as that. 248-539-9797. He's definitely going to be a buyer. I love the like Alex it. I love it when he says, and I knew I love when he goes there. It's a traditional old school deal, man. That's just a regular deal. Don't worry about it. I'll hook you up. Well, That's I, exactly I, what it is. I think sometimes people hit a rough patch, and you know, like you know, he's talking like 2008, so 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So you know, he's talking like five years ago, dude. You, 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 divorce. I mean, uh, God forbid. I mean, I, I've never gone through one. I hope I never go through one. But that sucks, man. I mean, I mean, and it, it, you hit a rough patch. I mean, you know, you got you got bills pile up. Dude, it doesn't mean you can't buy a house again. Right. I mean, you you, you roll through it and you move on. No We've problem. got Eric on the line from Howell. Good morning, Eric. Eric, welcome to the show. Go ahead, sir. Hey, good morning, guys. What's up, dude? What's up? Not much. Um, question, the girlfriend and I get pretty serious. She wants to purchase a house together. The problem is she's a waitress, and she makes enough to afford a nice house, you know, with us combined, but on paper, you know, it's only showing she's making, you know, whatever, $8,000 a year. So her theory is, you know, who's going to give her a mortgage for... Hundred fifty thousand dollar house when she's only making, no one. you know, nine thousand on paper. So right. you need a co-signer there, so you're going to step in and handle that for her, right? Yeah, right. I mean, that's kind of what she's leaning towards. Myself, I'm not sure if I'm ready to do that, but I mean, that's pretty much the the gist of it, right? I mean, either she's got to claim more tips to show more of an income, or yeah, not co-signer. Not correct? Claim more tips. How come you can't go on the loan, Eric? Um, divorced about two years ago and unfortunately went through a bankruptcy and, um, yeah, I'm just trying to get back on track myself. So was there, was there, was there a years. house in the bankruptcy? Yeah. Yeah. So it was yep. a foreclosure too. Correct. Right. So here, so, here, so look at it from a lender standpoint. So we, we have no income we can verify. You want 150 grand. She makes 8,000 bucks here. We can verify. And, and you can't know, go, and you can't go on the loan. Yeah, it's going right. to be a rough one. That's, uh, yeah. that's a real dude, that's, rough one, man. Uh, that, that means, she, you know, can, can her mom or dad co-sign for her? Yeah, or I even said, you know, why don't we just rent, you know, build it up a little bit and there maybe, you, you know, rent our own or something just to get into a house. Are you calling from Howell? Is, does the, yeah. The, where's she work? What, 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 what restaurant? Pardon me? What restaurant does she work at in Howell? She's at Aleel's. Okay, cool, man. Yeah, it's, it's, it's nice, man. That, how is cool? My, my buddy Tom Neville zones uh, Tomato bro, Tomato Brothers out there. That's why I... Oh, yeah, great asked. restaurant. Yeah, she makes right. killers. She makes tons of money. Here's the thing, dude. I mean, it, it's it's not it's not about how much she makes. It's about how much I can prove she makes. Like, the guy hangs up on me. That's really, okay. Dude? We're going to call I him up I, was, I wasn't being an ass. You were being I a actually, counselor. I was being nice. I, my buddy Tom owns Tomato Brothers. I thought maybe yeah. she worked there and I could call Tom and like try to figure something out. <laughs> get, her, get her a raise over there? Yeah, but, well, not, not get a raise, but I mean, I was just... Know, Look, you, you typically qualify for about three times your income out there, and that's always been a struggle for uh, you know waitresses and such because it's all tips. And again, at the end of the day, they're only going to show you know whatever it is ten, twelve, twelve thousand a year. So we see that often. Right. Another thing Eric can consider too, because his credit isn't good right now, uh, maybe they can find a house for sale and land contract. Yeah. And in five years, when it balloons, then his credit's back, and he can. The time get, heals get a lot a of things. Yes, you know right. what he said? He just got divorced two years ago. How about slow it down a little bit? It sounds like, yeah, at this point, again, whether or not your girlfriend wants to purchase a place, maybe get a co-signer, parents involved, sounds it, great. Still lots of opportunities out there if you want to be a buyer it's now. It's very, very simple to get a mortgage right now. It really is. I mean, it, I mean, and, uh, I don't want to take the, take the show to, you know, down a negative path, but, I mean, it's, <laughs> dude, it's... It's really, really easy. Dude, a 640 credit score and 3% into, into the transaction, 3.5% of the deal. That sounds like, pretty dude, easy. That's, I mean, come on, dude. I mean, that's that's really, really easy. Yeah, Good yeah, morning, Linda. Qualify, Linda from Canton, Michigan. What's going on, Linda? Yes, I have a question. A couple of weeks ago, I listened to your show, and you talked about FHA and VA mortgages. Yeah. And that afternoon, we got an offer, FHA, on a condominium that we're selling in Canton. Right. Um, since then, it fell through because of FHA and the Condominium Association. Right. Is that a common occurrence? Well, or? it's kind of, yes. Well, yeah, yeah you're common. talking about it's not an FHA-approved condo. Yeah, you have, to know what the, uh, you have to know ahead of time which condominium complexes in those cities are FHA-approved, correct? And very okay. few are. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so now will that hurt? I, I believe that the, the person is now trying for conventional um, loan. Will that hurt his chances because he was turned down FHA for the no, condo? No, not necessarily, no. no. 
Not at all. Not at all. In fact, he, he has an opportunity. He should have probably gone conventionally f- from the get-go. Uh, FHA is really expensive now, but the only opportunity for a lot of buyers out there are, are to obtain these FHA mortgages. But, yeah, it's tough to buy a condominium FHA if you're a first-time homeowner. Very few of the complexes around southeast Michigan, again, it has to have certain criteria to pass the FHA approval Linda, process. in your condo complex, how many units are there? Uh, how many units are there? Oh, about 16. About 16. How many are occupied by the owner? I mean, how many are... are I know there are some by... rented. So, okay, some's um, not bad. Two, three rented. That's not a big deal. But, uh, you know, they, they have to go through a qualification process as well. So there can't be, okay. you know, 50% can't be rental units. Uh, you know, there's... there's there's numbers that that's not the accurate. Number. Well, hopefully the borrower, 20%. hopefully the borrower qualifies for a conventional mortgage. Yeah. Thanks for the call, Linda. Be careful there. Uh, Make sure, yeah, get that approval letter in hand. I hung up on her, sorry. That's okay. 248-539-9797. We'll follow up with that one a little bit. You have to let Lee talk more because he went out and bought $50 headphones at Radio Shack. They're, 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 nice, they're, they're Beats by Dre. It's like they're, M&M's they're in the studio. Oh, they're so comfortable. You look good. Lee, a lot of great opportunities out there. We also talk about the investors that bought in the last couple of years. It was nuts. 2012, 24% of the homes purchased were from investors. These guys now have opportunities to either sell them or continuously rent these units out. We still have a lot of families out there that might have went through some economic turmoil recently, whether they lost their job or that short sale foreclosure bankruptcy. They're all out there. So, again, a lot of opportunity out there for investments in the last two years. But that's been our problem. Everyone's bidding against these homes and driving these prices up. But that's why the values have gone up in certain counties because there you go. properties were at record record lows investors came in and bought them up and now they're you know the the uh the property values have gone up and we were hoping though here's the big thing lee that the appraised values will catch up with the sale value so that there's usually a lag in there so now that the summer is ending as harvey so appropriately pointed out first thing in the opening of the show that we're going to see in the next month all the sales that happened in the summer we're going to catch up with the appraised values going forward I, I I see them still just being behind, just the the, the nature of, of appraisers today. They're constantly looking in the rearview mirror, and I don't see many of them accounting for current market conditions. Oh, that was Lee Morf said that, not Harry Glanz or for, Alex for McKinsey or Harvey Freed. Well, you get that from most real estate agents. Again, it only takes that one transaction where the, you know, the comps are there, and they just don't want to use it for one reason or the other. There's just not many of them. All right, we're up against one of our breaks here. When we come back, we've got tons to share with you. If you're negotiating on a house, be sure to stay on the phones with us or give us a call, 248-539-9797. We'll be back. Candace would like to know. Will DTE Energy really help me save money on my energy bill? Well, Candace, we have Jason from DTE Energy here to tell us. DTE will absolutely help. The first thing you should do is go to the DTE Energy website and use My Energy Analyzer to see how you can save or schedule a free home energy consultation. Mm, then what happens? Well, someone like me will come to your home and check it out for ways to save. We'll look to see if you have enough insulation, if your windows and doors are sealed well, and whether your appliances are energy efficient. Are there some simple things she can do herself? Well, just changing out traditional light bulbs for CFLs can save a lot. Those are the squiggly ones, right? Yep. They use 75% less electricity than traditional bulbs. 75% less? Wow. Plus, they look like ice cream cones. But you wouldn't want to put an ice cream cone in a lamp. (laughs) No. Want to ask your own question? Go to AskDTE.com. DTE Energy. Know your own power. My company just landed a big new account, and I have to start hiring people pretty fast. But I'm not too worried. We have great benefits. One in particular. We have Blue Cross. A comprehensive health plan from Blue Cross Blue Shield of Michigan or Blue Care Network is a great way to attract and retain top talent to your small business. I want the really talented people to work for me. If I didn't have Blue Cross, I'd probably lose them to somebody who does. With Blue Cross, your employees get the health plan they want and your business benefits from a plan that fits your budget and may lower your health care costs. Some plans can even help your employees stay healthy. Blue Cross is an employee benefit that's a real benefit to my bottom line. To learn how a health plan from Blue Cross can help your business stay competitive, call 1-877-547-BLUE. Contact your Blue's contracted agent or visit bcbsm.com slash employers. Blue Cross Blue Shield of Michigan. Confidence comes with every card. Blue Cross Blue Shield of Michigan and Blue Care Network are nonprofit corporations and independent licensees of the Blue Cross and Blue Shield Association. 
Strike three. Another incredible inning. Nine pitches, three strikeouts. Now that's efficiency. What's gotten into this guy? Maybe he's inspired by the efficiency of his new car from Varsity Ford in Ann Arbor. Right now at Varsity Ford in Ann Arbor, you can get the fuel-efficient 2014 Ford Focus for only $166 per month. And with over 200 certified pre-owned vehicles, it's easy to join the Varsity team. Off I-94 at Jackson Road in Ann Arbor. See the entire selection at VarsityFord.com. This is the sound ah. of relief. This is the sound of reliability. And this is the sound of a normal day. When oil prices return to normal and customers who stayed with oil heat can reward themselves with the sound ah. of a pet on the back. Find out more about today's oil heat at IntelligentWarmth.com. Brought to you by the National Oil Heat Research Alliance and the locally owned and operated members of the Michigan Petroleum Association. Firestone Complete Auto Care is looking for all level technicians to work on cars. Yes, Firestone Complete Auto Care is looking for all levels of technicians in the Detroit and Ann Arbor area and having an open house Tuesday, September 24th. You'll need a high level of motivation, energy, and a customer-focused attitude. Firestone Complete Auto Care offers several excellent benefits and privileges to every employee. The open House is from noon to 7 p.m. Tuesday, September 24th at the Firestone Complete Auto Care outside the Briarwood Mall in Ann Arbor. Firestone Complete Auto Care is an equal opportunity affirmative action employer. Okay, Buffalo Wild Wings is the greatest place in the world to watch Lions football. No surprise there. But now it gets even better with the chance to win 10 grand every time you come in to watch a Lions game in September and October. Visit a Metro Detroit Buffalo Wild Wings location and enter your receipt information on 971theticket.com slash Buffalo Wild Wings for your chance to be one of two lucky fans each week. If you're selected and your assigned team runs an opening kick return for a touchdown, you'll take home $10,000. Visit a Metro Detroit Buffalo Wild Wings for details. No purchase necessary. Contest rules apply. Tune in this Sunday as the Detroit Lions head to Washington to take on the Redskins. Game time is 1 p.m. Presented by Ford, the official automotive company of the Detroit Lions Radio Network. It's the $50,000 Dueling Cash Cubes Saturdays in September from 6 to 10 p.m. Every hour, two players will grab for cash in the cubes. Winners can take the cash or pick from the mystery boxes. Only at Hollywood Casino Toledo. Gambling problem call 800-589-9966. Sports news all day, every day. This is 97.1 The Ticket. Brought to you by National Benefit Plans for Affordable Health and Life Insurance. Go to nbphealth.com. It finally happened last night. Max Scherzer become Major's first 20-game winner. He goes a 20-3, 12-5. Tigers over the White Sox. He goes six innings, Scherzer does, allowing just three runs. Magic number down to three for the Tigers, who got a home run from Victor Martinez and four for five from Torrey Hunter. Cleveland beating Houston 2-1. They stay six back tonight at Comerica Park, 7-8, right here on 97-1. The ticket, Rick Porcello against Chris Sale. Michigan on the road at UConn tonight, 8 p.m. on AM 950 WWJ. And South Bend this afternoon, the Fighting Irish looking for their third straight win over Michigan State. Number 22, Notre Dame is 2-1. and one. Michigan State, 3-0. and oh. Irish have won nine straight at home. Lions in Washington tomorrow where they've never won. In fact, you can hear that one right here at 1 p.m. on 97-1. The ticket, running back Reggie Bush and defensive tackle Nick Fairley, both probable for the Lions. At the 1-800-CALL-SAM studios, I'm Jeff Lesson A 97-1, the ticket. The city that drives America listens to America's best sports station. 97-1, the ticket. Hi, right, welcome back to the show. We're going to broadcast till 10 o'clock. It's the Hardcore Mortgage Show brought to you by Capital Mortgage Funding at 1-800-LOW-RATE, the best mortgage banker. You can also send us an email to mortgage.show at lowrateonline.com or join us in the studio, 248-539-9797. Alex Nafusi, Harry Glanz with Capital Mortgage. I'm Harvey Freed, and we brought in Lee Mora from Remax Showcase Home. Always thanks for coming in, Lee. And we're, we're going to get to a lot of purchases. It's crazy if you could just sit in the studio here and listen to what's going on when we're not on the mics. There's a lot of information being shared. And, again, you got to hire the professional real estate agents to make uh, offers, and I know you're going to be making an offer here this afternoon. Absolutely. For one of our clients, and hopefully it gets accepted. We talk about seller's concessions. We're going to get into that right after we take a few calls here. Go to, go to two. All right, let's try two. we got Sean out there in Dearborn. Good morning, Sean. Go ahead. Hi. Um, yeah, I just got a quick question. When listening to the show, uh, something came into mind. I'm going to be applying for a mortgage the first of the year. I got everything set up. You know, I work in a family business, so I had to wait. You know, I have to wait until the first of the year to get my income. Um, you know, to show more income. So but you, um, you need two years. When it comes to, I'm sorry. You need two years on that on your tax. Right. Returns. I understand okay. that. So that's yep. all set to go. But my question is, 
is when it goes to underwriting, um, you know, I have a car. My car is underneath my grandpa's name, but I do pay for it. The reason why I put it under my grandpa's name is to keep the insurance down. And it is in my, you know, it comes out of my bank account. But how far does the underwriter go in as far as when um, approving a loan? What do you I mean? mean how, do, how do they look at your bank statements? Well, what you're talking about is not showing up on your credit report, so it's not going to come out as a liability against right. you. Okay, so as long as it's not on the credit report, it, they, they, don't, they don't care about it. That's correct. Even though you're paying it, it's on your grandpa's name. Yeah, at the end of the day, uh, you could tell grandpa that he's responsible for the payment, right? Because I know it's not in your name. Okay. Yeah, and then another question is, is I, you know, my brother, my younger brother doesn't have a bank account, and I pay his rent out of one of my bank accounts. So I just don't want them looking into my accounts and saying, okay, well, where is this going? Where is that going? And, you know, where are you coming up with this? They're not, they're, yeah, they're, they're not going to cross-reference your bank account with, like, the, the kind of money you spend, if that's what you're worried about. Okay. So if, it's okay. On, if, I, if it's on your credit report, you you got to qualify with a debt. But, I mean, if you're... You know, if you're pulling out, you know, a thousand bucks a month to do whatever you want, I mean, they're not, not going to question that. Sure. Okay. That's what I was just wondering about. You know, the credit. You know, because when it, FHA two, the debt to um, credit ratio too. Right. You know, I know they look at that pretty strong. So. Well, I'm glad you're. Uh, getting, getting, yeah, Sean. The good thing you're doing is getting in front of this right away. So you know, that's the thing. Get your approval letter in hand. I, I'd like to talk with you actually on on Monday for sure to see what your information looks like. That way, you can be prepared when you're ready to pull the trigger and make the offer. Lee, what were you going to say? Yeah, and Sean, Thanks, you might Sean. want to start looking at uh, for a house even farm. in November. Uh, that huh? would be a good time to start because yeah. it might take a while for you to find something. And from from the start to, to close, we're seeing an average of six weeks. I'm hey. Like, you know Am what? I right, guys? About six weeks? Yeah. Hey, how about no, this? Not, no, no, we can do a not for six weeks. How about this? It's well, a doable average, loan. But that's you, how you I guys, of course, uh, you know, you're top notch. But, you oh, know. Well, I'm, you, I'm, it's about 30 days start to finish. Okay. So it's a Fair regular enough. deal. If, hey. if there's a bunch of BS going on, it means it's going to take longer. But, I mean, usually it's about three, four weeks. Well, people finish. have hair on them. Look, I don't have any on my top of my head, but they got hair on deals. He just mentioned You're three. still very attractive. Thank though. you. And it's we'll so talk about your right. 77 yesterday. Was that from the top? Where was that from? What's T-Box? The ladies' tees. Oh, that's okay. Well, you're just behind them anyways, but well, I'm glad you shot off. 77. Yeah, I was going to say. Oh, we talked about it earlier, <laughs> gentlemen. So many moving parts, and everyone's got a different situation. Two o'clock on Friday. Where are you, footsie? Where do you think I'm at? Yeah. I'm not even going to share this with you. Hey, Dave out there in Fenton. Good morning, Dave. You're live on the ticket. What's happening? How are you? What's up, man? Uh, I, have pretty, I have a 30-year uh, fixed, and I paid on it about 10 years. I owe uh, about what the house is worth now. Maybe just the house might be worth just a hair more. Um, but I'm locked in at uh, 5 and an 8. Um, my credit's really good. My debt-to-income rate, uh, debt ratio is kind of bad. But um, is it worth looking into refinancing at 5 and an 8? You're really not in bad shape, man. I mean, if if okay. if, yeah. if you I can owe, afford it, I mean, I'm. Yeah, I mean, you know, if you owe what what the house is worth, I mean, you're yep. really not in, in in bad shape. I mean, you know, I could probably okay. save you, you know, fifty bucks a month, but I mean, for for what it's going to cost to do something like that, I mean, it'd be right. I, I'd be a bad dude if I tried to tell you to do that, man. How yeah, about if he drops the okay. term? We always love that he might drop down to a fifteen or something like that. Hey, Dave, yeah, how long that, do you plan on being in the house? Is this uh, it? Are you? Probably, Probably the rest of my life. Yeah, so it might take a shot at it. I mean, if we take a look at it and we can uh, put you in a better situation where long-term we can save you money, how many more years do you have left on that 30-year? I have about 20. You have 20 years left. Okay, so you might want to check it out, go to a 20-year fix. Maybe we can drop the payment, lower the rate, and therefore save him money over the next 20 years. There you go. How about that? How about if Alex gives you a call? Fantastic. That'd Thanks for the call, oh, Dave. Good stuff. Thanks, we'll Dave. take a look at a 15 or even a 20-year form. You know, the conversation always comes up about buyers and sellers. When's the right time to buy or sell? Well, it's really based on individual experience. You know, are you going to be staying in this location for a while? Is your employment solid? Uh, how's your relationship? Obviously, there's a lot of different variables. Lee, lots of opportunities there. And again, I want to throw this out there for any family who's interested in purchasing a house. Be sure to call Capital Mortgage. Diane Patone, I know Billy Slobin at the office right now for sure. Diane gave me a shout and said, look, get your approval letter now. They can run the approval process for you this morning, get a strong approval letter in your hand, and make some offers. We have all the qualified real estate agents. We have a long, long list of them, and we'll get you set up with the right people. All right, let's go to some more calls here. We've got Dave out there in Taylor. Good morning, Dave from Taylor. What's happening? Hey, good morning, fellas. How are you? Good, what's hey, up? Dave, how are you doing? Good. I'm good. a homeowner here in Michigan. My wife and I want to purchase a condo in Florida. So I guess my question is, what is the best way about getting a loan the re- call my office right now. Yeah. Florida. yeah, definitely call our office. My home's paid off here. Great. 
Actually, your home's paid off here. You're buying a condo in Florida. I would actually, to be, I'd like to see you pull the equity out of your house here in Michigan and pay cash for the one in Florida. Correct. I think it's going to save you money. The tangible um, tax. Yeah, Florida's got this funky tangible tax that, that that's, it'll cost you an arm and a leg. What's your house worth here? I would say probably one twenty-five. And what's the condo in Florida going for? You know, I'm looking probably around eighty. Okay, yeah, I mean, you I mean you, yeah, t- take the cash out of the one here, dude. I mean, it, it, pull it out of the one in, t- it, it's such a call from Taylor. Pull the one out of the house in Taylor, the equity out of there, and, okay. and, and go with that route, man, for sure. It'll save you a ton of money, dude. Plus, you'll be a cash buyer, and I'll tell you, their eyes might light up down in Florida when you walk around with a yeah. cash offer versus a mortgage. They right. might get real excited. You might be able to steal that place in Florida. We see, of course, all the different cities here in Florida here going we up in value. everywhere. Including, you can call, I, you can call Capital Mortgage. Everywhere. Hey, Dave, thanks for the call. Thanks for the thanks, call, Dave. Dave. Everywhere. All right, you can call Capital Mortgage, 1-800-LOW-RATE, the best mortgage bank. I know we have people in the office. If you need an approval letter right now and you even want to get a mortgage in Florida, be sure to give us a phone call. Let's go over to Kathy here in Monroe. Good morning, Kathy. You are live on the ticket. Go ahead. Hi. Hi. Uh, My question is, uh, my husband and I are going to remortgage our home. It's been paid off for about 15 years. And uh, what what happened was uh, we were just... uh, put in a flood zone area, which we've lived here for 40-some years and never had to have flood insurance uh, to remortgage. And now they're trying to tell us that we have to have flood insurance. And um, what I'm wondering is can we be – is there someone – we have to have someone come out yes. and uh, give us a price on or, or, or rezone the area to tell us, you know, that this is – you have, flood area, Kathy, so. you have an opportunity to do an elevation certificate to maybe get yourself out of a flood zone, if that's if that's the case. But Could again, you might get out of a flood may, Maybe. It all depends how your house lies within that flood, uh, that flood plain and that flood zone. So, again, there's people in Colorado right now wishing they had flood insurance. And right. crazy things happen. There's a reason why the flood zones were changed recently. If you currently have a mortgage that doesn't have it and you go to refinance, Yes, it will pop up, and you will need to get flood insurance on the house. Now, it might only be four or five hundred dollars to save you right. if something catastrophic happens. You know, and that Kathy, that's, it's been a hot topic in our office as of late. Well, we're finding out that there are, you know, people haven't done things with their property in a long time, like you have, and then all of a sudden, when you do a when you do an appraisal and they do a flood map, and it, it, you you appear in a flood zone. The way that you right. can try and get out of it is that you have to get the certificate Harvey's talking about. But FEMA, yeah, I heard about that. Yeah, but FEMA. Okay, FEMA is the one that dictates if you're in a flood zone or not. And oh, and FEMA? Why, yeah, and why you don't want to pay between say four hundred and fourteen hundred dollars a year for flood insurance, it yeah. could it could happen. But but there's ways of trying to, you know, trying to alleviate that for you. But uh, mm-hmm. I, I will tell you that uh, you know it's come up and it, and it's coming up more and more. And like I said, we've had it in our happen in our office just three or four times this past week. Okay. All right. You might uh, want to so consider. Legitimate. Yeah, we'll have a survey company get in touch with you Thanks, and follow Kathy. up with you. Thanks for the call. 248 539 9797. We're up against a break, but when we come back, tons of great information and lots of savings for you. Live it up in Las Vegas. Non-stop flights from Flint on Southwest Airlines are flying now. Plus non-stops to Baltimore, Washington, Tampa Bay, and Orlando. Fort Myers starts in November. These non-stop flights connect to over 70 low fare destinations across the map. Book Flint tickets online only at Southwest.com. Hurry to Southgate Ford for tremendous savings during their 2013 model year-end sales event. Take advantage of great no games, no gimmicks, zero down sign and drive lease deals. Leave your money in the bank and lease the Ford car truck of your choice. No money down, not even first month payment and no security payment required. Now through September 30th, qualified customers can lease a 2013 Ford Fusion SE for only $219 a month for 36 months. Just tax title plates do it signing. These Fusions are nicely equipped, not stripped. Southgate Ford is also offering Ford rebates of up to $8,700 on new 2013 Ford F-150 pickups. See dealer for details. Southgate Ford never charges the hidden extras like dock fees on new used or leased buys, saving their customers hundreds, and you won't waste time with pushy managers. Every day is like an auto show at Southgate Ford. Hundreds of new Fords to choose from, and you'll stay comfortable as you shop their huge 12-vehicle showroom. Southgate Ford can even deliver your new Ford to you. Southgate Ford on Ford Street or online at southgateford.com. 
<sighs> Hello? Sarah, it's your wake-up call. Wake-up call? Is it time to get up? No, no, no. This is your financial wake-up call. It's time to own your money. I thought I already did. Really? Seriously, Sarah? What do you call all those hidden fees and high interest rates you put up with at your bank? Wow. I guess I don't own my money. <laughs> Listen, Sarah, put your money in Community Choice Credit Union. At Community Choice, you're a member, so you get lots of benefits that banks don't offer, like fewer fees, lower interest rates, access to over 1,600 surcharge-free co-op network ATMs, online and mobile banking, even a member rewards program. Sarah, this was your wake-up call. Don't put it on hold. Visit GoCommunityChoice.com and then join. All right. Good call. Well, that's why they call me a smartphone, Sarah. We've got a whole new way of rewarding you for using our products and services, the Get Big Rewards program. Now, being a member means great credits and rebates. To learn how easy it is to own your money and get rewarded for it, visit GoCommunityChoice.com. Federally insured by NCUA. Equal opportunity lender. I'm afraid I have HIV. I'm afraid I have HIV. So I put off getting tested. So I decided to get tested. I have no idea if I'm positive or negative. Now I know I'm positive. I mean, what can I do about it? I can do something about it. I feel all alone. I know I'm not alone. I have support. Counselors I can talk to, even free meds if I need help paying for them. I may be HIV positive, but I'm doing something positive about it. I'm taking care of myself and my future. I wish I knew if I could survive HIV. You can survive HIV. I'm living proof. You too can survive HIV. Get help and live without fear. To learn more about free confidential testing, counseling, and treatment, visit michigan.gov slash survive HIV. A message from the Michigan Department of Community Health. Fire up shift. Keeps his feet, dragging defender. Breaks Texas on his feet. Akron territory, he could go. Ball is loose. It's a team that can keep playing and a team that makes a play. 45-40 makes a move, cuts it back. It's rid of its interception, and the Chippewas might have it. Central Michigan is ready to take down the Mac on the road to Detroit. Listen this Saturday as the Chippewas begin Mac play against Toledo. Our coverage begins at 11 on your exclusive home for CMU football. Catch CMU football all season long on CBS Sports Radio 1270 Detroit. Is it breakfast? Is it dessert? Who cares when it's gone nutty peanut butter Pop-Tarts? Toasters just got hotter. A visionary take on peanut butter and pastry. Even jelly feels a little... Jellious. To have just one is incomprehensible. Pop-Tarts. There's two of them. Groceries, essentials, signature value. The Everyday Collection by Target. It's the final regular season homestand for the Tigers this weekend. When the Tigers face the Chicago White Sox at Comerica Park. And the 97-1 The Ticket Street Team and the Ticket Chicks will be at Gate A to warm you up before every game. Tonight and tomorrow. Brought to you by the Michigan Lottery. All across the state, good things happen. Don't get left out on the most exciting time of year. Get your tickets today to any Tigers home game. Call 866-66-TIGER or visit Tigers.com. Because every game counts. The station where your opinion matters. 971 ticket. All right, welcome back to the show. Our last segment. You listen to the Hardcore Mortgage Show brought to you by Capital Mortgage Funding, 1 800 Low Rate, the best mortgage banker. I know Billy and Diane are there. Call, get real professional, personal service. What if we just said we're not leaving at 10 o'clock? This cannot be the last segment. We're not leaving. So Pat, we, Pat Caputo's going to have to wait till It's not going to happen today, though. But I'll tell you what. How about increasing I'm your curb sure appeal? Get in trouble. Why not? Would I get in trouble for that? <laughs> I'm pretty sure we get in trouble. We've got some calls on this. 248-539-9797. I'm not leaving the studio. Lee Moroff, our real estate agent here. First impression. Keep your home clean. and uh, Keep it well-maintained. Repair some of those broken items. Replace the carpet. Maybe is new that paint. you said? Keep your home clean. Different things you like, can do to that make you sure. A homeowner? It, yeah. How about don't smoke in your house? Oh, that's a good one. Wait, Lee, have you walked in the house where they've just been an absolute disaster? Oh, I could tell you some stories here. I love that. <laughs> Why would anybody want to show their house if it's in that condition? All right, a lot of... They, they, don't, they just don't understand. Because they, that, they're used to living that way, some people. I, a few years ago, I went into a house. I got sick from it. I had to leave. Dude, I'm, Lee, disgusting. I'm telling you right now that we looked at a house a couple weeks ago, Stacey and I did, and I might have been overserved the night before. Maybe. Possibly. Perhaps. Allegedly. 
it, we, I wa- it smelled like cat pee so bad. Oh, I was I seriously like smell. dry heaving. I'm That's like, why would good. you even put the, a sign in your front yard to have your house smell like that? Hey, wait I- a sec. We've got a call to get to, guys. How about oh, Brian man. out there in Allen Park? And you, Hey, Brian, thanks for joining the show. Go ahead. Morning, guys. What's up, dude? Brian, Allen Park Jaguars, what's up? What's happening? Yes. Um, my wife and I have lived in our home for uh, almost exactly three years now. Um, we made some improvements when we, when we moved in. Um, but my question is, we've been having a debate as to whether or not we want to add more to the property, uh, meaning, you know, re, uh, touch up the landscaping, uh, redo the patio in the backyard, things like that. Um, my only concern is knowing what um, similar properties in our area have sold for. Um, if in the short term, next five to seven years, we consider moving, are we going to be able to, is that going to add it all to the value of our home? You, you got to think of like what, what the improvements are. I mean, Brian, you know, if, if you're doing well, I mean, to me, it's a quality of life thing. If, if, if you want to, you know, do landscaping and, you know, and, and do a patio or a deck or whatever, I think it's a great idea. I mean, it's quality of life. And Brian, that's going to give you curb appeal too. When buyers come out to look at your house as opposed to other houses that are on the market, they're going to say, wow, the brick pavers, this is beautiful. Oh, this costs a lot of money. Oh, I love this landscaping. It's beautiful. And they'll, yeah, they'll and, want to and walk inside and see what you have inside. The is, is I know that currently there are two homes on my block that are basically un, un, uninhabited. Um, they're, they're foreclosures or they're short sales. And there was one across the street, directly across the street from us, which just sold, um, you know, for, well, it was three years ago, but basically sold for almost... 70% of what we what we bought ours for three years ago. So I'm just wondering with those types of values that are up there now, and again, five or seven years from now, if it's going to have an impact or not. Yeah, I would tell you this, that kitchens and bathrooms bring the most in resale, okay, just flat out. Um, yeah, people you know, don't want to put in a new bathroom and put yeah. in a new kitchen after they move, after they buy a house. Right, so right. kitchen and bathroom will bring you the most resale. But in terms of landscaping, I mean, I mean that's more for you. Landscaping, decking, that's really a quality of life yeah. issue. And, and I would tell you if you're going to be there for any extended period of time, you know, I mean, you have to do the cost-benefit analysis, but I would tell you that, you know, you're living there. It's your house. Make yeah. it nice and uh, enjoy it. Be careful he, he's not to over He's in Wayne over-approve. County. He's in Wayne County. Well, it's going to go up. 60%. Yeah, but he's nervous because right. there's a couple houses on the block Thanks, that are Brian. funky or but, but wrecking, guys, wrecking the neighborhood. Okay, you but know foreclosures that. aren't used by appraisers when they're appraising well, his house. Really? Wait, are you kidding wait, me? Wait, wait, time out. They're not Hello? supposed to. Well, no, what they're, they're using not supposed to. They're using them. Absolutely using them. It's a total depiction of what's going on That's, in the neighborhood. It, yeah, they have How to about use this, it. gentlemen? Well, maybe, you know I'm, maybe I'm confusing that with the city assessor. Here's what it, uh, yeah. Here's <laughs> yeah, what it brought confused. up to me. It brought up FHA 203K loans, and I see John Culp sitting in the corner office over there doing FHA 203Ks. Folks, if you're driving around right now with your real estate agent and you want to buy an Allen Park, you can purchase these homes. There's a wa- lot of great mortgage programs out there. Nobody Some of the agents don't even know. k better than Call Cole. us. Call John us. John Culp is our resident expert 203K guy. Could you imagine you can buy a house for 65 cents? Seventy thousand. The neighborhood, the good houses in the neighborhood are selling for ninety. You put twenty grand into the house. You still owe less than all the other homes in the neighborhood. You got a brand new kitchen. You got a new brand, brand new maybe everything. You know, you got to pick and choose your spots, but that's an excellent way to increase the value of the house. Two four eight five three nine ninety seven ninety seven. If you want to go, sneak a call in here, this, dude. hang on. All right, let's go. Hey, Dave. Dave, good morning. what's up, man? Hey, hey, good. What's up? Morning, Dave. Hey, I had a question for you. Uh, my wife had a foreclosure about a year ago, but I was not on the mortgage, but due to some law, I was told I had to be on the deed, and now I'm trying to buy another house, and they're telling me that I cannot get that more a mortgage because I was on the deed. You were on the the deed of the foreclosure? You were on the deed of the foreclosure? Why did I go to foreclosure? What happened? Um, we lost, I lost my job and I got another job and I was making probably half of what I was making yeah, before I mean, and we just couldn't afford if, the house if, payment. If you're on, if you're on the deed, I mean, you're, you're stuck, man. It's, it's basically you owning the house, even though it's not in your credit report. So you're going to need probably three years from the, from the date of the sheriff's sale. So it's going to need about three years, the date of the sheriff's sale. Correct, from the sir. date. Yeah. Do you know when that was? When the house go to foreclosure? Oh, my God. I don't remember. Um, has it been two or three years? I, yeah. It's been probably about a year and a half. All right. Well, hey, we got to take a look at it for you, Dave. We'll call you off the air and get your address. We can always run those for you. Thanks for the call. 248-539-9797. Let's try Tracy out there in Royal Oak. Hey, Tracy, you're live on the ticket. Hey, how's it going? What's up, man? Trace, what's up? Oh, man, got a situation where I had a house. I purchased a house. Um, was using it as a, as a rental property. It was a duplex. Um, 
what happened is the house went in foreclosure. It was a partnership. I didn't know the house went in foreclosure for the simple fact the the bank only going to send the, the information to one address, which it was going to my partner's address, which she didn't inform me that the house had went in foreclosure. So it's been over five years now. I um, I had quick you, and wait, long time run, time run time T, T, wait, hold on. You had a duplex uh, in Royal Oak and went to foreclosure? No, it wasn't in Royal Oak. This was in Pontiac. Oh, it was Pontiac. a two-family flat, actually. It was a two-family flat and went in foreclosure. What right. what wound up happening is, make a long story short, the 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 the, the bank that I got the, the loan through hit me with a garnishment. I paid the garnishment off. Okay. So it's it's paid off, but when I when I went to try for another loan for some odd reason they said that, you know, wasn't nothing they can do. But right, I'm, sitting on, seven, That's I'm why. sitting on the seven twenty. You know, so I, I, I will bet you a thousand dollars you have a seven twenty credit score. We can yeah. run that for him. Gambling's illegal at Bushwood. That's right. There's, Trace, there's, let us check you, it out you for you. For, if you have a foreclosure, there's no reference. chance that you have a, a 720 credit score. I, I, I'm trying to tell you, I did. I just purchased a vehicle. He might. And so what? You're trying I to buy a house. Might. I think he might actually have a high credit score. You rebuilt your you credit. It? Alex, why don't you run it and see what happens? We'll take okay. a look. Hey, Tracy, thanks for the call. You definitely okay. got to get more more other people like involved. Like Harry's waving his hand wildly, like please, please hang up. Please Let him go. Get, get this, Leave him alone. Please that I go. Now you're going to call him after the show and run yeah, up. Yeah, how do you, uh, here, if you if you have a duplex as a rental property and they're both rented, how yeah. does it go to foreclosure? Uh, well, the, no, the well, lady's easy, stealing the money. Easy, and she's I know. Making it, it, the it, 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 the notice and making the payment. Know, That's how yeah. usually happens. Easily. Hey, Tom, out there in Wall Lake. Good morning. You're live on the ticket. Yeah. Yeah. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Go ahead. Good, good. I just want to uh, get your guys' opinion. Um, you guys are the experts in the interest rates and Uh-oh. how the world works. Um, in uh, 2003, yes, I, I did the five five year arm. Right, you know the five five, and it resets annually. So now I'm in the reset. I'm in the reset mode. Right. So in 2008, it reset, and now you're at what? Right now, I'm at 2.875. Right. Okay, and it adjusts every year it, for you, right? It resets every year. Right. And I called the uh, the bank. I, I got it, originally got it through the old Michigan National. And Hey, Tom, we ran out of time. Tom, I'm sorry, I'm sorry to say we're going to follow up show. with you. Right. The show. Hey, he has a great 5-1 arm, though, I'll tell you that. And again, based on margin and library, he's been doing pretty well he's with it. He's been doing great. Wall Lake Central rate. Vikings, right. let's go. We'll find Wall out Lake if Central. he could refinance to a lower rate in a lower term. All right, thanks for joining the show, all the callers today. Another version of the Hardcore Mortgage Show brought to you by Capital Mortgage. Call us at 1-800-LOW-RATE, the best mortgage banker. Well, he's an excellent guest. We'll have him back on shortly. Lee Morrow from Remax Showcase Homes down in downtown Birmingham. Thanks a lot. For Alex Defusi, Harry Glanz, I'm Harvey Free. we got Pat Caputo coming up. Sports all day long.